The number two rated of all time, Howie Long. Number two. Number two? Number two on our list of all top ten all time rated. Is that too high? That's a little high. Second greatest rater of all time? No. Howie Long is the most controversial ranking on our list, but he's number two for good reason. Howie Long is a game changer. You had to isolate him with multiple blockers. If you don't neutralize him in the middle, you can't get anything done. Go under by a push up the middle by Long, and he is stopped at the 15 yard line. He was the brute strength of the team. I think his power, his competitiveness. And Howie, of course, played everywhere along the line. He was a very versatile player. Great flat top, great defensive end. And here's your host, Howie Long. We measure many modern athletes in dollar signs. We measure Chuck Bednarik in minutes. 60 of them. So how does a clean-cut kid from Massachusetts become a Raider great? I covered Villanova when Howie Long was at Villanova. I just didn't see a Raider there. I didn't see a guy who would go on to the Raiders and then be a Hall of Famer. But a lot of that was because of who he played with and, and I think having guys like John Matusak, Lyle Alzado, I mean, I think those guys brought something out of Howie that Howie didn't necessarily have when he got to the Raiders. The Raiders' basic philosophy on defense is to uh, just out and out beat up the man in front of you. Getting drafted by the Raiders made him a Raider. Playing so good with the Raiders made him a Raider. Making all those Pro Bowls with the Raiders made him a Raider. I think Howie belongs. Seisman back. He's hit. Howie Long gets him at the 30 with a great drive. Howie Long is number two on our list because he embodied two traditional Raider qualities, innovation and smarts. Howie brought so much versatility the ability to play multiple positions, but the, the know-how, the smarts. I mean, how he could be coached to do whatever he was needed to do. He could he could control games, and he was the guy that the offense, because he moved around, had to know where he was. How he was a great student. He was smart enough to realize that for him to play in the National Football League, he needed to rely on some of the things he had to learn. Howie Long was a forerunner as a defensive lineman. He revolutionized the game to a certain degree. Our number two Raider is a Super Bowl champion and Hall of Fame inductee, but not everyone agrees with his ranking on our list. What's his career sack number? Because is he, is he the all-time sack leader of the, of, the, of the Raiders? No, you know who that is? Greg Townsend. Here comes Townsend, Henson, the ball is loose! Too high for me, Howie Long. When I think of Howie, I think a guy didn't play long enough. And oftentimes you see guys that say, geez, you wish you had stopped playing a year ago. You know, and Howie's one of those players you think, gosh, you wonder why he still didn't keep playing. He's not number two on that team. I, 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 I think Howie was a terrific player and, and a Hall of Fame player, but uh, I wouldn't make him number two on the Raiders. I don't think Howie Long is a mistake at all. I think Howie Long was a great player. I think he was a great Raider. He was a great leader. I used to go to the games. I used to go back there and watch him, and I would compare those guys to our defenses of the 70s, and those guys could play.